I'm in South Newington at St. Peter Ad Vincula. It's a beautiful kind of classic little English parish church. Iron stone, you can see beautiful gargoyles. There's the little nub of a medieval preaching cross, probably 900 AD. But what makes this church incredibly special are the medieval wall paintings inside that are in an incredible state of conservation. And I'm right where I'm supposed to be. You stay in my mind, miscast as the disaster that you used to be. We were ready, but who? These are true frescoes, which is incredibly unusual for England for a multitude of reasons. One, the Reformation did away with most of these. Two, most of the wall painting in England is tempera. These are in oil, and they're from about 1330. But what's really special is that guy right there. That's Thomas Beckett, and it shows his actual martyrdom. And it really shows the drama of this moment, the power that he could be slaughtered in this act of holiness. He's praying and he gets killed while he's praying. And it's elegant and it's beautiful and the colors are so saturated and rich and it's just an incredible survivor from a time long past. Of that you'll agree What we had was sad My personal favorite is this beauty. I've, I've come here quite a lot and every time I have to just come and stand beneath her and take her in. She's so monumental and yet so feminine. Her pose, the, the contrapposto, she's, she's taking the weight of the child on one foot and it, it really kind of predates the Renaissance by like 150 years. When you see something like this, one has to remember that entire interiors of medieval churches looked like this. Maybe not quite to this degree of skill, but this kind of color, this kind of liveliness was filling medieval English church spaces. It's just a remarkable, remarkable remnant from a time that England for a spell really wanted to forget. It's just an absolutely incredible painting. Those memories that last